Hey guys, what is up? Lego Panic is here back again with their uh, video. And today I got the Lego Marvel Superheroes Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And this set is amazing. I honestly love it. Um, in person, it is really, really cool. And um, I'll get into why. But first of all, let's go with the details of the set. Um, this is set recommended ages to 6 to 12. Is set number 76079. The set name is Ravager Attack. It has 197 pieces. Retails for $20 in the US. Found it in my local Walmart and I got it. So this set includes three exclusive figures for only this set and probably for future sets if they do make some. Um, but this set has Taser Face. Rocket Raccoon and Mantis. So, and it has two vehicle, one vehicle, which is the one you see in the background, and as well a tree and some blasters. And I'll go in full uh, depth in later in the review. But first of all, let's go with the important parts of this set, which is of course the minifigures itself. So let's go ahead and go with Rock Raccoon. So for the first figure of this review, we got Rocket Raccoon here, and this figure is absolutely amazing, and is of course an updated version of the last one, um, which I'll show you in a moment in comparison. But first of all, um, this figure is of course the blue version Rocket Raccoon. I think we saw this version at the end of Guardians 1, correct me if I'm wrong, he got a new suit. But let's take these blasters off for a second. And I'm going to show you the full figure itself because, of course, the figure is more important than the accessories. But anyways, this figure is absolutely amazing. Um, I like the detail in this figure and this is actually a really cute figure, if you ask me. So, if I go ahead and pull up the first, first Rock Raccoon, which I do have, um... Here it is, so let's put in comparison. Um, I got this one, of course, when the movie came out back then, 2004, which was like five years ago. No, three years ago, I think. But as you can see, that's a vast improvement. Um, of course, this was the first movie. The first movie, of course. Um, and that's the second movie right in my right. Um, so, yeah, the only difference is, of course, the suit. The head is practically the same, but the... Now, the, that's a smirk on it, or a smile on this one. This one has nothing. But, um, if we go in the back, you can actually see that there's more, there's different printing now. But, look, this is not the focus of the set, so let's just go ahead with the newer version. So, the newer version, I really like it. I wish they actually made the color more accurate, because it has more of a brownish type of tone. Not a grayish one, uh, but I still love it, of course. Um, so, if we go ahead and remove the head of this figure, which, oops, we will go in a second. Well, let's go ahead with this part here. Of course, we had this already. We got this part in the last one, um, which is really rubbery. Um, also, if we take off the the head and we show you the torso this is how the torso is so let it focus for a little bit there come on so there's a torso right there so it looks really cool um very 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 detailed if you ask me a lot of people didn't like this um version of i think they did uh, but uh smirk that he asked or something people didn't like that for some reason i kind of did just my opinion of it, um, but yeah, this is Rocket Raccoon, um, he does come included with two blasters or rifles or snipers, whatever you want to call it, it comes with two of them, um, let's find the other one because I think I lost it, no, it's right here, um, so there it is, so it has two blasters of course, so yeah, if you ask me, this figure looks very cool, so let's go ahead and go with the next figure, which is another very cool figure in my opinion and that is mantis okay so this is mantis right here 
This is the first time we see Mantis in the MCU. It is the first time we get her in the minifigure. Um, so this, of course, is a very, very cool figure. Um, so I'm going to show you one thing that, um, that you might be interested in, I guess, is the hair. So you may think this is a hard plastic hair, hair piece, but no, it's rubbery, as you can see right now. Oops. Ooh. That was weird. Uh, but you can see it's rubbery, um, and the antennas are also rubbery as well. The whole hair piece is rubbery. Um, so, yeah, we do have this face here. Um, a lot of people didn't like this figure for one reason, and I agree with that. It is the reason that the eyes are supposed to be all black, and that is seen in the trailers. Um, but Lego didn't want to look at that creepy, I guess. Um, they're not creepy if you ask me, but... I mean, they just want to make it more friendly or something to kids, I guess, because Lego doesn't do, like, I don't know, I can, like, I don't know how to explain it, but Lego sometimes doesn't do what fans want, because it's for kids, of course, it's just, hello, 6 to 12, so, <laughs> not, it's directly, it's not directly to, like, the adult fan base of Lego, um, even though a lot of ages buy Lego, like, even a 90 year old buys Lego. Don't ask me. Um, so the torso here is a very nice torso. Very awesome green. And dark green and black green. Um, dark green and light green. If we take off the uh, hair again. You're going to see another face expression. Which is a more calm one. And actually a very nice one as well. Uh, so the torso in the back printing. As you can see. It's very cool as well. Very, very cool. Um, so let's put this hair piece back. And if you ask me if I am going to do Guardians of the Galaxy 2 figures, I am going to do them. But I'm not going to start them until next month. Which is, no, I'm probably I'm going to start them on April probably. A month before the movie. But I might get to start them next month. Uh, like in the middle, I guess. Um, but I am going to do figures on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So, overall, this figure is very cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, very nice figure. Um, yeah. Very nice figure. So, let's go ahead with the last figure of this set, which is Taser Face. Okay, so now we got Taser Face here. And he looks very cool. And very, very, very menacing as well. Um, so, if we go ahead and take off this huge blaster, which is all brick built. But it's very, very bothers me because it's really big but anyways um this is taser face very nice very nice figure um it has a ravenger suit and he has this awesome hair piece here which looks like the little new blasters which you put here in a minifigure like that or something i guess kind of looks like that if you ask me but this is the new hit mold piece or hair piece and he's down but we will give him get him back so, Taser Face, he is, I think, a v one v of many villains in the movie. I'm not sure if he's going to be the main villain here, but there are two characters which I think are going to be the villains, but I'm not going to go into spoilers because this is not a spoilery, this is a review. But um, he has a black beard, which is Gandalf's beard, I guess. Um, Purple face, I'll take the beard off in a minute so you can see the torso and face and it has a dark dark um dark red pants and torso so let's go ahead and take off this um beard so you can see the torso there so very nice torso so let's put the torso there so you can get see it so very nice torso as a ravenger symbol right there we can see it right over here. So it looks very nice. Um, so this is Taser Face. That's his face, of course. So let me focus there. Focus. There you go. Taser Face. No back expression. So it's just one face for Taser Face, of course. So let's put Taser Face back to his body. And let's put his hair back as well. And this blaster here is humongous. <laughs> and it's really big. Um, out of proportion.
proportion, I guess. But it's still a cool figure. Um, so let's put this big blast or something, whatever it is. And let's go ahead with the main builds on the set. Um, so yeah, let's go with the main builds. So we got this little ship here. Which, unfortunately, I can't show you all in detail because I don't have a tripod in the moment. I might buy a tripod. But anyways, this is the ship that the taser phase um, comes in. And he has, as you can see, there's two blasters here. Two blasters on the top right here. Um, so this actually looks really, really cool. If you ask, if you ask me. Um... This looks like a smaller version of the Milano. It really looks like a, the Milano. The first one actually really does look like the first Milano, if you ask me. <laughs> um, sticker right there. And I think there's another sticker. Yeah, which is right here. The Ravenger symbol. And then here you got little repulsors and a gun. An extra gun you get included right here. Which has like a little... There. And then if you open up this cockpit, you can actually see that there's like a little printing right there. So a little printing right there of a, it's printed, it's not sticker, so thank Lego for that. So we put taser face in this part here. So let's put him in here. Oops. Let's put him right in here. So you place them right there, and then you just close the cockpit, and I don't know where you put the gun, but then like, beep, beep, he's gone. To action. Now, next we got this little mini build of a tree, and of course of this awesome little play feature, which I really like these these pieces here. Um, so basically this is a piece of the Milano. I guess the Milano in the movie gets destroyed at some point, I guess. Um, so just one huge piece of the Milan right here. This is a tree, of course, as you can see. A very, very nice looking tree. And a little machine, or whatever you want to call it, a gun. A huge one. And if we aim it to the camera. There you go. Boom. And another one. So... There aren't more included, so if you lose one, don't worry, there will be like five of them. Unfortunately, I did lose some of them, so I can't show you the extra pieces, so I'm very sorry about that. So, overall, this is the whole set. So now, let's go ahead and go with the instructions. So, here's the instructions, of course, guys. So, you get a big instruction booklet right here. Um, I really want to get a tripod, so I'm sorry if this looks very bad. Um, but... I'm gonna try, and you can see that you can build and stuff. So this is how big it is. It is about I feel like seventy or something pages. I think um, fifty-five pages. So fifty-five right there. If you include the if you include the back one, it's fifty-six. So here's the sets. Here is the one that we are reviewing at the moment. Here is the other one, which I will get next week probably if I see it, and I will get this one eventually. So yeah. And they just extra pieces and an advertisement of these sets and the website of Lego. And then another advertisement in the back. So, that's the instructions. Here is the comic book here. So, I like the comic book. I really do like it. Um, so, we go ahead and look at it. The obelisk right there in the Milano. Uh, the place where we are at. Uh, the review. And then Yondu stuff and... A checklist to get all the minifigures and stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go with the box now. <laughs> so here's the here's the art of the box. Here are all the info of the box. The minifigures are included. The title of the film and the I guess the little box art, whatever you want to call it. Then same thing, but in Lego version. And all the figures and the actual size of the figure. And you get a back part of the box and yeah, pretty cool stuff. I'm sorry this this review is getting lame or something. It's just I need to get a tripod really, really bad. So sorry. Um so overall 
this set is really cool. I really recommend it. If you don't like it, and that's your problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, if you don't like it, then great. That's just your opinion. Um, but I really do like it. Overall, I give this set a 9.2. Just because the figures, I wish that they they kind of changed the uh, tone of Rocket Raccoon's fur. And I wish they made the head of Mantis more accurate. But overall, the play features and the fin figures look fantastic. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Leave any suggestions you have. And follow my Instagram and, and Flickr on the description. All links down below. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time on the next review. Bye.